Welcome to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosie UK. Today I'm going to be showing you how you crochet the double treble in UK terms or the treble crochet in US terms. It's a very tall crochet stitch and you'll see it used more frequently than you realise so it's well worth mastering. Before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on another one of my crochet tutorials again. Let's gather the materials we need to complete this um, crochet tutorial. I'm going to be using my uh, six millimeter crochet hook with a chunky weight or a bulky weight yarn. And we're just going to start by making a slip knot and popping that onto our hook. We're going to make a chain of six. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I felt like I said a chain of six, I meant a chain of twelve. So the turning chain for this stitch is actually a turning chain of four. So with your um, double crochet in US terms or your treble crochet in UK terms, you have a turning chain of three. Um, so this is a bigger stitch, therefore it needs a bigger turning chain. So in the fourth chain from hook, so one, two, three and four, we are going to wrap the yarn around the hook twice. And then we're going to insert our hook into the fourth chain from hook. One, two, three and four. So we insert the hook into the fourth chain from our hook and we're going to yarn over to bring up a fourth loop. And just like we would with our normal double crochet or treble crochet in UK terms, we're just going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops. This leaves us with three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through the next two loops. With two loops remaining, we simply yarn over and pull through two. Let's make another one into the next chain. So we yarn over the hook twice, insert our hook into the chain, yarn over, bring a loop up. So we have those four loops on our hook. Going to yarn over and pull through the first two, takes us down to three loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two, yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. So wrap that yarn around the hook twice, and insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, bring a fourth loop up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Escaping ball band there. So wrap the yarn twice before inserting your hook, yarn over, bring a loop up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. A couple more to go on this first row. So we've got those two wraps around the hook before we insert to bring up our loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So when you compare that to the double crochet in US terms and the um, treble crochet in UK terms, you can see it's simply just an extra wrap of the hook before you insert. You yarn over as always, bring a loop up, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. So yes, you can make even taller stitches. You just wrap the hook another time. And then you always pull through two, pull through two, two, and pull through two, however many times to complete that stitch. So work um, a few more double trebles in UK terms or treble crochets in US terms, making sure that you wrap that yarn twice before you insert your hook until you reach the end of the row. And then we will do a turning chain. So one, two. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Uh, oops. Come down. Start that one again, I think. So wrap twice. Pull through two, two, and two. That was my last chain. So I did a turning chain of three because I don't count that as my stitch to give it a nice edging. 
So to turn our work, I'm going to chain three. And that's because I'm not going to count that as a stitch. If your pattern asked you to call for a, um, the turning chain would be four if it was counted as a stitch and you would work into that next stitch. But I find my edges look a lot neater if I work into the same stitch where I chained. So there's the chain coming out of three. I've wrapped that yarn around twice. I'm going to insert the hook into the same stitch as my chain before I yarn over drawing up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. My only top tip I can give you is to not stress about only getting it through two loops. It will get to the stage where you're automatically stop pulling through the extra loops. Although you saw that I dropped and remembering of course to wrap twice. I have obviously previously dropped stitches and you will probably do so as well and it's all perfectly fine. As long as you're remembering to wrap that yarn twice before you insert the hook, make sure you're yarning over and pulling through two loops at a time, you will create a UK double treble or a US treble crochet. It's quite a fun stitch and it obviously it makes very quick blankets, but it is a very open fabric. You know, when you compare it to how tight um, a single crochet or a double crochet would be in UK terms. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick tutorial on how to crochet a double treble or a US treble crochet. And I hope to see you again very soon. Make sure that you've hit that subscribe button and of course hit the notification bell so that you never miss another one of my crochet tutorials again.